our lesson goal for today, we're going to be multiplying rational numbers. When we're multiplying rational numbers, remember, you could always multiply across. 6 times 5 is 30. 15 times 8 is 120. At the end, you want to try to reduce. In this case, you may see that you could cross out the zeros and get 3 over 12. Or you could also see if we divide the top and bottom numerator and denominator by 30, we get 1 fourth. What we're going to try to do today is learn how to multiply with canceling. When you cancel, you could cancel vertically. You could cancel diagonally. You cannot cancel horizontally. So again, vertically or diagonally, not horizontally. When we're looking vertically, we're trying to find a common factor that could go into 6 and 15 or 5 and 8. In this case, 3 can go into 6 two times and 3 goes into 15 five times. When we take a look diagonally, we should be able to see that 5 goes into 5 one time and 2 goes into 2 one time and 2 goes into 8 four times, leaving us with 1 times 1 over 1 times 4, which is 1 fourth. Our learning objective is by the end of this lesson, I will be able to multiply fractions with canceling. Our such a question is, how does knowing your math facts help in reducing fractions and finding the GCF and the LCM of two numbers? When you multiply two fractions, you simply need to multiply the numerator the tops and you multiply the denominator the bottoms, but don't forget to reduce. So let's take a look at one fifth, meaning we have one part, one shaded part, and a total of five parts times three fourths, meaning we have three shaded parts and a total of four parts. Our answer will be the overlapping area or the double shaded region. So we have three sections that are overlapping or double shaded. We have a total of 20 parts. Let's take a look at a different model. Three times three fourths. Remember, we want to put a one underneath it and multiply numerators times denominators. Three times three is nine. One times four is four. When we see this, it says three three fourths. That means we have three fourths three times. If we try to move these around, I can move this piece over here, this other piece over here, leaving away with one piece. So we can see that this is two holes and one fourth. So again, remember your dividend is your numerator, your divisor is your denominator. And when we simplify our divide, we get our quotient. So in this case, when we do this, four goes to the nine two times, two times four is eight, nine minus eight is one. Remember, we want to put our remainder over our divisor and we get two and a quarter. You should start the Delta Math multiplying fractions area model problems now. Multiplying rational numbers, remember, canceling makes it easier. Remember, we could cancel vertically or diagonally. You cannot cancel horizontally. So in this case, we know 2 could go into 8 four times, and 2 goes into 6 three times. 9 and 5 do not have any common factors, nor does 4 and 9 or 5 and 3. So we now multiply across. 4 times 5 is 20, and 9 times 3 is 27. Let's take a look at this one. In this case, we know that 3 can go into 15 five times, and 3 goes into 9 three times. 4 can go into 8 twice, and 4 goes into 28 seven times. We have 5 times 2 over 7 times 3, which is 10 over 21. Another way to take a look at this one, we can say 3 goes into 15 five times, and 3 goes into 9 three times. 2 goes into 8 four times, and 2 goes into 28 14 times. 
But then we may want to cancel again because 4 and 14 are both even. Therefore, 2 goes into 14 7 times and 2 goes into 4 2 times. This still gives us the 5 times 2 over 7 times 3, which is 10 over 21. You may want to pause the video and try this one on your own. In this case, I know that 4 goes into 12 3 times and 4 goes into 16 4 times. I canceled vertically this time. There's nothing else I can cancel, so therefore I'm going to multiply across 3 times 3 over 4 times 5 which is 9 over 20. Next problem. On this particular one, we should be able to see that 7 goes into 14 twice and 7 goes into 7 one time. But then we can see when we cancel diagonally with this denominator and this numerator, 3 goes into 3 one time and 3 goes into 18 six times. One more time, we have two even numbers, 2 and 6. So 2 goes into 2 one time, and 2 goes into 6 three times. There's nothing more we can cancel, so we have 1 times 1 over 3 times 1, which is 1 third. Remember, if canceling is causing you some issues, please do not forget, you will always get partial and even full credit if you just multiply across. 6 times 5 over 15 times 8, which is 30 over 120. And if you don't see how to cancel, we'll be working on this in class. But you may try to reduce at this point, but you can always multiply across to get credit. And this concludes sixth grade lesson on multiplying rational numbers. If you're in seventh grade, we are going to continue. In this particular case, we have a negative rational times a positive rational. And we will still have to use the multiplying the dividing integer rules. We can see we have a negative times a positive, which will give us a negative. In this case, just write down your equals a negative and multiply the same way you would if it did not have a negative. 3 goes into 12 4 times. I'm going to cancel. And 3 goes into 9 3 times. 5 goes into 5 1 time. And 5 goes into 20 4 times. But then we see we have a 4 over 4. So 4 goes into 4 1 time. 4 goes into 4 1 time. And we can multiply 1 times 1 over 1 times 3, which will give us a negative 1 third. Remember, when we see parentheses, that means multiplication. In this particular case, we see we have a negative and a negative. And remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. When we look at the row, a negative times a negative is a positive. And we're going to multiply and pretend like we don't have negative because we know that we have one negative times another negative, which is a positive. In our last case, we have a negative and then we have a negative over a negative. Now you could use this because we should know a negative over a negative is a positive. But there's a rather easier method and that's to know that an odd number of negative equals a negative and an even number of negatives being multiplied or divided by is positive. So when we take a look at this one, two times two times two times two is two to the fifth power. We have zero negatives, so we know our answer is going to be 32, a positive 32. In the next case, we have we have four negatives, therefore we have an even number of negatives, so our answer is going to be positive. In this case, we have two negatives, again an even number of negatives, so we know our answer is going to be positive. In the next case, we have one negative, so we know our answer is going to be negative. In our last case, we have three negatives, so we know our answer is going to be negative. When I take a look at this one, I can see I have one, two, three negatives. This means we have an odd number of negatives being multiplied or divided by. Therefore, our answer will be negative.
the end. Have a great day, and I will see you in class. Bye-bye.